Hello everybody and welcome to Gadget Extra. Today I'm going to show you how to use the PlayStation 4 controller with the Nexus player. Alright, so first we'll need an OTG cable with an USB hub plug into it. This will allow us to have multiple devices hooked to the Nexus player. I will be using this keyboard to control the Nexus player because the Bluetooth will be deactivated when we use the controller. Okay, this is the dongle for it. And also we'll need a USB cable that's come with the PlayStation controller. And make sure to not connect it yet. Okay, let's go to our TV and look for Market Helper. If you don't have Market Helper, I have a video in the description showing you how to do it. Okay, let's choose a tablet. And Transformer Pad, it should be the tablet and look for your country. And then click on Activate. Android Device Manager. and it will be looking for your uh, device. Once the device is found, look for Google Play. The link will be in the description as well. And then open it with your browser. I use Dolphin Browser. It's my recommended browser for Google Nexus. And let's look for the app, Six Axis. It's a paid app, but it's way worth it. Okay, so click on install. And make sure you have Asus Transformer Pad. Scroll down and click on continue. Nice, it will be installing in a little bit. Okay, I think it's installed and let's uh, set it up. Let's say yes. And look for six axis controller. Now click on start and yes. And grant the privileges. Okay, it will be listening for our controller, but it's not set up. Let's set it up now. Connect it to the Nexus player. And if it doesn't show up, just click on the power button and you will be seeing a message that it's con uh, connected. Cool, I uh, can control it from here. That's a good sign. Let's click on pair and let's say pair and then OK. Let's stop the server so we can set it up without a cable. All right, it's disconnected. Let's unplug the cable and click on start. All right, we're connected and it's look like it's working here. Let 
let's verify that we have the proper option six axis controller and let's go to preferences gamepad settings and enable gamepad so it can work as an android controller okay let's give it a try uh, let's try riptide gp2 Okay, it seems like it's working. The PlayStation controller is very well made and it's probably it's one of the best controllers so I recommend to use it more often and invest on it instead of invest in other controllers. It seems to be very responsive and it's rechargeable so you never you need to buy you know batteries or anything. Oh, I actually like it a lot. Hope you guys like this video. And if you're interested on in more like these, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And take care. See you in the next one.